Let's take out the ink and quill, maybe a paintbrush while we're at it, and create these super simple brush and ink effects for our videos. Hey, this is Jordan, Sonduck Film. Whether you're looking to put together a slideshow promo or just a quick creative transition, these effects are easy to do. Be sure to drop a like on the video, and let's get started. Remember that you can download the project files for free in the description below so that you can follow along. The first thing we'll do is make a basic brush stroke reveal transition. Here I have an empty composition and the first thing I'll do is bring my first brush stroke asset onto the timeline. I want the brush stroke to go from left to right so I'm going to rotate this layer by 180 degrees then I'll position it at the top of the composition like this. Now go to Effect, Transition, Linear Wipe, then in the Effect Controls panel set the Feather to 60, set a keyframe for transition completion at the start of the timeline, set completion to 100%, move forward a bit on the timeline, and set completion to 0%. I'm going to highlight the second keyframe, press F9 to make it easy ease, then in the Graph Editor tool I'll pull the right side of the curve to the center like this to smooth out the animation. Next I'll put the second brush stroke on the timeline, rotate it by 180 degrees as well, reposition it under the first, then we'll copy the transition from the first brush, paste it onto the second, and change the wipe angle to 270 degrees so that it goes in the opposite direction. Now put the third brush on the timeline, rotate it by 180 degrees as well, reposition, then copy and paste the transition from the first brush. We don't need to change the angle this time because we want it going from left to right. Now we'll put the third brush stroke on the timeline again. We won't rotate it this time, reposition it to fill out the rest of the composition, then copy and paste the transition from the first brush stroke again. You should have the four brushes transitioning across each other like this. Now, we'll take them and offset them in time on the timelines so that they come in one after the other. Now, go on the timeline to where the brushes fully cover the screen, then go to Layer, New, Solid, create a black solid, click OK, and put it at the top of the layer list. Press T for Opacity, Set a keyframe, set opacity to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, set opacity to 100%, and make the keyframes easy ease. If we don't add this solid layer, when you use the brushes as a reveal layer, you'll still be able to see the brush strokes on top of the footage after they transition. Highlight all of the layers, right click, pre-compose, we'll name this pre-comp strokes1, and click OK. Now I'm going to bring some footage onto the timeline, Put it under the Stroke Pre-Comp, then open the Track Matte drop-down and select Alpha Matte. And now you have this awesome brush stroke reveal animation. Next, I'll show you how to transition from one clip to another using the brush strokes that we just made. I'm in a new composition with two pieces of footage and our Stroke Pre-Comp. I want to change this Pre-Comp, so what I'll do is go into the Project tab, Duplicate Strokes 1, hold the Alt key and drag Strokes 2 onto the Pre-Comp on our timeline. This will duplicate our pre-comp and it lets us change it without changing the first pre-comp. Open Strokes 2 and all we want to change here is the opacity keyframes of the solid. Go on the timeline right to where you see the final brush finish filling in the screen like this. Then put the end of the opacity keyframes here and bring in the first keyframes so that it animates faster. We want the screen to fill in right here because this is where we can cut from one piece of footage to the next without having a big pause between the two. Back out of the pre-comp and we're going to rotate this composition by 35 degrees, then scale it up so that it fills the screen so we can get this nice angled brush animation. Now move on the timeline to where the screen fully becomes black, right click the pre-comp, select markers, add markers so that we know where the transition is, then put that marker right in between the two clips like this. Duplicate the strokes, put the beginning of the duplicate right at the point of transition, then set the track mat of the first to alpha inverted mat. Now the strokes will fill the screen, then the strokes will animate again, but this time wiping away the first set of strokes to give us our transition. And now you have this seamless brush transition between two pieces of footage with only a few changes. Before we create our ink transitions, we gotta pay the bills. All of the brush and ink effects in this tutorial are a part of our 2500 plus transitions pack for After Effects, meaning you can browse through thousands of transitions with our Motion Duck extension. Click apply and in a moment's time you have a fully functional and creative transition all within your project. Also you can expand your library of time saving templates with our Motion Duck extension and get access to over 17,000 other templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Be sure to check our links below and also while you're at it download our free motion packs. Next I'll show you how to do an ink transition using the same types of techniques we've been using with the brush animations. 
Here I have two images and I want them to both be revealed with an ink blot stock footage I have, so I'll grab one of the ink transitions, I'll put it above the first photo, and I'll set the track mat of the photo to Luma Inverted Matte. Basically what this does is it's taking the black from the ink blot layer and using that as the matte to reveal our photo layer. If you just set it to Luma Matte, then it will use the white from the ink blot layer, and now the black covers up the image instead. We'll set this back to Luma Inverted Matte, and for our second image, we'll do the same thing. Drag and drop another ink blot transition, line it up with the second image, then set the image to Luma Inverted Matte. Now you have this awesome ink blot reveal made by just changing one setting on the images. That's it! Be sure to subscribe for more motion graphic content, and remember, always be creating.